Well, if you want to tell me that this particular fighter is on the wrong end of the power equation, I'll give you that. But few guys can match his speed and his footwork. Prevailing wisdom is he'll try to fight on the outside tonight, stick and move a little bit. Exceptionally quick on his feet. Sets up angles beautifully, manages distance as good as anybody on the roster. Knows how to set up his attacks. Knows how to stay in his opponent's range. Figures to be a big part of the strategy tonight, given the power that's coming back. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you wanted to be like Bruce Lee. You wanted to be that fast. You wanted to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce F.N. Lee steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Our tail of the day for this, our main event of the evening. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. And he's looking for that left, it's not there. Leading with that right punch. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Gotta think his opponent's gonna feel that one in the morning. And he's gonna continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Overhand. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Throws that tee. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Lee gets hit with a kick. Side kick, well placed. Yeah. 
just misses with that one. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Just over three minutes here to go round one. He loaded up there on that high kick. Nice block. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Oh! oh, he lands a massive kick here. Let your hands go. Let the Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh! Well, he misses with the left punch there. a good series of kicks here. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Nice punch here. Oh, good block there. Went for the inside leg kick. Back kick there. Good with the kick to the body. And again, right back to the well with the body. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. One minute to go here in the opening round. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Oh, body shot. Oh, Superman punch. Whiffs on that offering. Very soon. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Let's go. Work on those Final seconds here in round one. to digest from that one. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Round go. two is underway. Oh, big front kick lands flush! Good punch. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter. Oh! He's wobbling now. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. All right, doing work with the jab. Get me out of 
And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. There's that kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. He missed with that jab attempt there. Lee's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Oh, you land I land, is that what we're doing here? He threw that one with all of his power. Tremendous head kick lands for this guy. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily do it. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Under two minutes now to go. Unable to connect there. to the head there by Lee. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually. Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Here's the buff with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 45 seconds of round number two. He's playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and given this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about, you know he's gonna get everyone's best shot, but more often than not,